So my name is Poonam Joshi and with me is the most beautiful Poonam Dillon. I mean, look at your outfit today. Did you? You like it? It's amazing. And your little nut. Oh, the nut. <laughs> you know, actually, this nut was an afterthought. Uh -huh. uh, I just said, okay, let me wear it. And I wasn't sure if this, this, this is too much because this is not a shadi. This is a function. But then I thought it's a celebratory kind of an event. So why not? Let's dress up a bit. You know, it is a celebration of womanhood. This, this festival uh, celebrates women in cinema, actors, directors, writers. And, and, and I think it was the perfect occasion to dress up. Uh, Poonam, I know you, everybody knows you as a celebrity, as, a, as an actor who has done amazingly well in Bollywood. But as the founder of a women's organization, the largest Indian women's organization in the UK, I want to ask you, uh, if there is one thing you could tell today's women who, are, who live abroad, who, who are from India, who struggle uh, to, to manage their work and their life and who have so much pressure as mothers, as workers, what is something that you can give to them from your personal experience? My God, your question was so thought provoking. Well, but I think, you know, every woman has the capacity to multitask. Whereas a lot of men don't seem to have that. I don't know what this is God given gift. But women, whether they are working or they are, uh, you know, they are still thinking. Like I was here in UK and my daughter was in Istanbul. I was still asking her what has she worn. I was still concerned about my dog at home if he's got his <laughs> food there. I'm doing. So I think a woman is capable of doing all of that. And I remember when I used to be shooting, my daughter used to sometime come to my shoot which was closer by to home and sit and do her homework with me sometime I would be doing her plats in the shooting so my those kitty party days those girls remember they said god we remember Paloma used to come here and you would be doing her braids before school and you'd be helping her with homework so I think a woman inherently has that but I would definitely tell women that um, try and inculcate some ways of friendship and family togetherness which you have a support system don't think that you know you i can do it all alone value your family which is around you ask for help ask for the support if you can and also be a support when they need right because a lot of the women i find are very resentful of in-laws and mother-in-law and sister-in-law i think they can be your family and they can be your support I think we should try and work on those things. Yeah. Uh, that will be somebody you know who's going to love your children as much as you love them. And of course, if you don't have that, if you have good friends who can be like family, just be a friend to them and ask them for help. That's such an important thing you said that you know having people around you and uh, reaching out to others when you need help, which a lot of women don't do uh, at a, in a lot of times. But one thing that we women don't hear uh, have is family you know but there, there is just either colleagues or just neighbors or friends but you have you have done it all even as a single mom you know you you you've managed to look after your children your career and you knew when to stop and when to start and i just hope that women can take that strength from you do you think that there are enough issues being raised through Indian cinema today um, as they were during your time? Um, well, I think certain uh, stories which don't preach, but they show the strength of a woman. They show them facing different adversities, which are really something which one hope nobody has to face in real life. But in cinema, yes, there's a dramatic license, which we do have drama. We need to create drama, so everything is more enhanced. But by and large, I think all of us go through difficult times in our lives. Yeah. And that's when we uh, need our support system. But also, as you said, we don't ask for help. Yeah. And even to say that I'm unwell physically, mentally, emotionally, I think we should acknowledge it and ask for help. So that is something which I'm learning now. In our time, somehow we would be able to cope up with much, much more things, you know, yes. this mental and anxiety and stress wasn't so much. 
So I would tell the younger women, your life is not only social media, it's reality. Live your life, only don't live through your cameras and social media. So that is, I think, giving a lot of stress and anxiety to people. So it's beautiful. Use it for professional reasons. Use your, use your social media to enhance your work. But don't have to be looking at everybody's story and saying, why am I less? She's having more fun. She's got better clothes. Her bags are better than mine. Why? Yeah. <laughs> they may be all borrowed and it's just somebody's <laughs> you pick up. Why? Don't bother about that. Enjoy what you have and be grateful every day. That's what I feel. Thank you so much, Poonam. That was such a beautiful, beautiful message. And I hope women can use a bit of that <laughs> <laughs> in their life. We all need to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Self-care is, 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 the, is the best thing a woman can do to herself, yeah. isn't it? It's important. Thank, Thank you. you.